The release of the anti-mega blockbuster movie, The Marvels, has a lot of people asking me, why haven't you reviewed the movie? Well, here's my top five reasons why I will never see The Marvels and knew it was destined to flop. I hope this helps. Number five, cats are cringe. Everyone on the internet secretly knows cats are the absolute worst. People pretend that they are domesticated and cute, but that's due to cat lovers' massive insecurities. If these cats were 400 pounds heavier, they would gladly take your face off. Cat people on the outside pretend that they love cats, but on the inside they feel big and powerful. Finally, they can dominate a creature that otherwise would maul them in a heartbeat for petting them six times instead of five. <laughs> Now, the filmmakers of the Marvels are trying to say that they are not cats, but flurkins. That's not a cat. That's a flurkin. A flurkin. Nice try. You can use all your made up futuristic space terms, but flurkins are really space cats looking to eat your earth face when you're not looking. Call them whatever you want, but here on a little reality planet we call Earth, cats are cringe. Flur cringe. Number four, there's women in the movie. Like, a lot of them, and they talk too. They say things like, I can't even. I can't. Stuff like that. Of course, there are cool women in movies like Ellen Ripley or Vasquez or that one pilot that got eaten by an alien. If this movie were those three women fighting to survive on a planet colonized by aliens, I'd watch it. But these three women have about as much charisma as a tampon clogged toilet. Number three, no sandwiches in the trailer. I looked far and wide and I saw not one sandwich in a female dominated movie. I understand that this is a comic book movie and everything, but she's standing right in the middle of a dining room empty handed, doing nothing but complain. Ooh, I could totally show you. No! No! Not again! Hi. I don't even know what she was saying because she was not holding a sandwich. To finish off your sandwich, close it. Something you're not used to doing with your mouth. Number two, the unforgivable size of the heads on these women. The only thing bigger than the size of the theater screens are these chicks' heads. Monica Rambeau's melon is technically small, so they gave her an afro to match the size of Brie Larson's forward operating base of a skull, and she still came in second place. Well, that's a huge noggin. Brie Larson's massive head cannot be challenged by male or female alike. It must dominate the space that it's in at all times, warping the very fabric of space and time until everything is sucked into its center of gravity, revealing that the only thing that resides inside is complete nothingness. Don't backchat me, big head, or I'll bust you up. This is a movie with a character nobody likes, with a character nobody knows, and another character that was never properly introduced. Just three giant heads knocking around for two hours. You mean to tell me with heads this big, they couldn't come together and figure out how to make one sandwich? Get out of here. And that brings us to number one, Brie Larson. Brie the Cheese Larson is insufferable on screen almost as much as she is off screen. Her best performance was in Scott Pilgrim, where she was an insufferable bitch. It was perfect casting at the time. Brie is definitely that one girl that reminded the teacher about homework and wonders why she has no friends. Brie's acting and everything else she's ever been in is as flat as her ass. When she wakes up in the morning, she's on defensive mode 24 seven, thinking that the world is going against her as soon as she walks out of the door. She's correct in her paranoia. Her Avenger co-stars are really good actors, but even they couldn't hide their hatred of Brie. So there's no competition for me because I'm the strongest, so it's just kind of like a different... Oh, well, yeah, she let her think that, but yeah. There, so there you have it, the top five reasons why the Marvel sucked and it flopped. If only Marvel had, I don't know, 80 years of comic book material to choose from to come up with a better story. Basically, what I'm saying is, you can't get me to put the Marvels in my eyeballs. Not even if mom's lasagna was on the table. Hollywood needs to give cinema back to the creatives instead of just commissioning friends as writers and rushing scripts. Their poor attempts of appeasing DEI councils to appeal to people who will never pay to see these movies in the first place has fractured entertainment. The Marvels is proof of that. If you enjoyed this video, you go ahead and smash that like button. While you're done doing that, hit the subscribe button. And then after that, share this with your friends family, people you hate. Maybe you don't like my content and just want to waste somebody's time. Do it. Share it. Thank you. It is much appreciated. I'm out of here.
To finish off your sandwich, close it. Something you're not used to doing with your mouth. 